Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 19th of 2022, well, it is titled a digital lunar eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the lunar eclipse that occurred just a few days ago. And the lunar eclipse occurs when our moon passes through Earth's shadow, which blocks out the light from the sun from directly illuminating it. So here we see a number of images, in fact, one taken every five minutes, and watching therefore the progression of the eclipse over several hours. And we can see that at either end, the moon is being illuminated by the sun and is quite bright. So you can see it's much brighter there on the two ends. And it seems much dimmer in between. Now that's not because of a change in exposure or anything like that. It is simply because the moon was in Earth's shadow and therefore looked much fainter than it otherwise would. At normally the moon is directly illuminated by the sun reflecting sunlight bright directly to from uh, the moon to Earth. However, when it passes into Earth's shadow, the sunlight can no longer reach it directly and it only reaches it through the Earth's shadow. I'm sorry, through the Earth's atmosphere. As light passes through the atmosphere, it will then uh, uh, be scattered and the very short wavelengths are scattered the most and the long wavelengths are scattered the least. So that's why those central images appear red. The long wavelength red lights are the ones that make it through and into the shadow. So when, when it is in the deepest part of the shadow, the moon will look a deep blood red color that we see here. And then of course, as it begins to exit the shadow, you'll start to see the brighter illumination begin to take place until it just becomes overwhelmingly uh, bright in this case and definitely uh, saturating the image. So we can see those as we look off towards either end. Now the eclipses occur in what we call eclipse seasons. So we get eclipses around this time of year and about six months from now, we will have eclipses again. This is because of the way the moon's orbit is tilted relative to the Earth and sun. Most of the time the moon passes well above or below Earth's shadow and not through it. And only at certain times of year will these moon pass through the shadow and give us eclipses such as the one we see today. So that was our picture of the day for May 19th of 2022. It was titled a digital lunar eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a view from Earth's shadow. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.